Hey folks, welcome back here to the Biggest On Channel. We're here off of Charleston Boulevard and Rampart in a shopping center in the area known as Boca Park next to Tivoli Village and uh, Mr. Camaro trying to figure out the parking thing. Loaded empanadas, that actually sounds pretty good. Next to Dry Bar. Is that one of those uh, bars that doesn't have actual liquor? Mocktails, they call them now. Cheesecake Factory here off to our left. Tip only valet. Complimentary valet. But they want you to tip them. So we'll turn around the little circle here. Let's see if I can make a left. And I cannot. So I'll have to get over here. And uh, turn it around. Go up here to Alta. Suncoast Casino over here off to our left as well. They've had some political rallies held here at Suncoast in recent years as well. There's a good look at it right there. Here on the west side of town. Tivoli Village right there in front of us. Let's see Tivoli right there. And Shop Dine Office, it says there on the front. as well as these uh, condos in here. Last I looked, those units in there were like 600,000 starting and up. Just uh, way out of my price range, that's for sure. We'll wait for our turn here at Alta. And just as I hit the pause, the light turned green, so here we go. I'm gonna go westbound here on Alta, just in front of Suncoast Casino. I've actually never been out this way, so this is new for all of us. Got the uh, sun setting. It's crawling down the uh, sky here in front of us. This is called Clubhouse. Suncoast. Clubhouse on the left and Suncoast on the right. So Alta is a, uh, a pseudo major east-west artery here in town. Very closely paralleling Charleston Boulevard. Change lanes to pass bike of bicycles it says there. But it tends to be twisty turny, so you don't get that straightaway feel that you do on, say, Charleston or Sahara, the major arteries here in town. Although right now we're on a uh, straightaway, so what am I? What do I know? We do have video of our time on Ulta on the east, yeah, east of here, actually, over by uh, downtown Las Vegas. Feel free to check that out in our library. And again, change lanes to pass bicycles. You got Summerlin Parkway just over here off to our right. More political ads littering up the side of the road. Bunch of junk. Meaningless, worthless junk. Forgive my cynicism when it comes to politics. Mary Hill School, infants in kindergarten it says there. This is Halapai, H-U-A-L-A-P-I-P-A-I, Halapai. I've heard everyone else pronounce it Halapai, so that's what I call it. 
definitely looks different than the east side of town. If you've seen our videos and you've been a part of this channel for a while, here on the west side of town, this definitely looks a bit different than, say, Nellis Boulevard. The east side of town is not this well taken care of, in my humble opinion. They have trees in the medians here, even though there's a water shortage. But we're going to continue building more and more homes. But there's a water shortage, so who knows. This is Town Center Drive here. The Arbors, a Summerlin Village, it says, on that marquee on both sides of the roadway, there in front of us. says there and again they have they have bike lanes on the east side of town but no one uses them and if they do they're it's usually in a pack the ones I've seen are usually in packs folks riding together center drive here there's a Lincoln Mark LT there used to want one of those it's an F F-150 but with the Lincoln plating all over it I think they only made them for three years 06 to 08 over the 215 Beltway here. No interchange here with it, so we will uh, dive right across. And there it is, north and southbound over on this stretch. Just a very nice area out here. Very nice to look at, for sure. Brings us to Park Vista. We'll make a left here on the Park Vista. And there's a super truck, a cyber truck. Tesla cyber truck coming at us. Big dumpster on wheels, I think, but that's my opinion. It's beautiful. Italian cypresses here in the middle. At least, at least that's what they look like to me. Italian cypresses, more of them over here on the left. Portofino. This is Parkside Way here. It looks like there's an elementary school in there. Let's say Gibbons Elementary. And this roadway actually seems a little bit uh, non-Summerlin-ish. Has a little road noise to it here. Miramonte, look at the mountain, or mountain look, something like that. More of the tall Italian cypress there. Kingwood. never been down this route here in Summerlin traffic circle up ahead I know I'm heading south actually now it looks like I'm heading west according to the navigation we will yield right here and wait and go Vista run drive continues southbound there old Acura Integra there That's going to bring us down here to the Charleston Boulevard. Major East West Artery here in Las Vegas, where we will make a right. And uh, wait for the 
cross traffic. Proceeding westbound on Charleston Boulevard here west of the 215 Beltway for our friends following along at home on your preferred map app. A shopping center up here on the rise. They've got some Albert's. You have Albertsons in there. This is Desert Foothills. We uh, have video of our time driving up and down Desert Foothills. Feel free to check that out in our library here on the on YouTube. Acura RSX. I had a buddy of mine that really, really wanted one of those badly when they first came out back in 2000, 2001. He was on a wait list for it and everything. I never did understand this fascination with him. Summerlin Heritage sign set there straight ahead. And a lot of this butts right up against BLM land or Bureau of Land Management as we merge down to one lane. Sky Vista. You can see right here, this is the uh, edge of civilization. This is Sky Vista or just past Sky Vista. This is Charleston BLM land. That's the Bureau of Land Management, part of the Department of Interior, United States Department of Interior, federal agency. They own, last I've read, like 85% or so of the uh, land here in Nevada. down by uh, Hoover Dam. Cows don't want to cross the cattle guards, so it keeps them out. Try to keep the sun out of the view here for you. Out here in the open desert west of Las Vegas, do not feed wild horses and burros. There's a $500 fine. Rock Canyon BLM Visitor Center, two miles ahead. BLM Fire Station, Bureau of Land Management. Fire restrictions in effect. Visit NevadaFireInfo.org. Bicycle, share the road. See, the uh, fire danger today is up in the extreme level. We've had some very, very low humidity here for the last few weeks, in fact. There's been no rain whatsoever, which is not surprising here for the desert, but uh, very, very dry. Calico Basin Road here, off to our right. Red Rock Canyon and one mountain, and in one mile. <laughs> about to pass me here. I try my best to obey the speed limits, but uh, some people don't like that.
want to take a moment thank you all so very, very much for joining us. We really appreciate each and every single one of you. If you haven't already, please do like, follow, share, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. TikTok handle VegasDon47. So feel free to check that out. Your voice also carries so much more weight with the algorithm when you like, follow, share, and subscribe. And the algorithm recommends you to others. BLM Visitor Center, Scenic Drive, US fee area, of course. They want their money. I'm gonna make this right. Visitor Center and Scenic Drive entrance. with care. Go to the left here. Red Rock Canyon National Conserva Conservation Area Bureau of Land Management. Also want to take a moment to say Vegas Don merch available on the Vegas Don section of our YouTube channel. Have the Vegas Don logo on top of the Las Vegas Strip skyline. So maybe it's for yourself or a significant other for the upcoming holiday season. And as always, remember here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. Thank you all so very, very much for joining. We'll see you next time, folks.